Hi, this is Bill Wolf, and I'm at the PTU today uh, to share with you. We're, we're going to do a heartbeat on liquid line controllers for pH. And the reason why we're going to talk about that today is we actually have a customer who has a lot of existing controllers, a lot of Memosense technology in the field right now, and they're moving to heartbeat technology. Why? They, are, they think, and we think, that they can better manage their pH usage by upwards of over 30% savings. So, I got Trent Hillbrand working on it right now at the PTU. Let me put my mask on, let's walk on over, and uh, let's see how he's doing uh, performing this heartbeat on his liquid line controller. Follow me, folks. You can see we're at our PTU today, so, whoops, watching my head. Hey, Trent. Hey, Bill. Kyle's coming over with the camera. We're recording right now for our episode. Uh, how we uh, how we doing, everybody? Bill, I don't know, man. I don't think we can perform this heartbeat verification. We don't have heartbeat on this unit. Uh oh. You know what? Maybe what we need to do is call Agent Nedgeby. Nedgeby. That's what we'll do. We'll call Agent Nedgeby. Bill Wolf, your mission should you choose to accept. Verify your pH loop. We are mobilizing Agent Nedgemi for assistance. Your code word is heartbeat. Bill, do you think he's coming? I think so. I think I hear footsteps. Code word. Heartbeat. Good. <laughs> hey folks, um, we're, put, we're having some fun with our MI2 here. This is Nejmi. He's our product manager for our analytical portfolio with Andrews and Hauser. And uh, you folks have met Trent, Trent a couple different times. I'm going to fade out right now and these folks are going to work on how to do a flash upgrade on our liquid line controller. And also uh, Trent's going to perform a heartbeat on our liquid line controller. So I'm going to fade out and hand it over to these guys. Go. Okay, then let me show you how we activate the heartbeat. All right. All we need just the activation codes. Okay, here we have the serial number specific activation code. And on the main screen, you want to start with menu, setup, general settings. Extended setup, data management, upgrade code. There it is. Enter upgrade code. All right. So we enter the upgrade code. Okay. All right, and then you just hit OK and confirm. Accepted. Accepted. Okay, Trent, now Hotbeat is activated, you can perform the verification. We're ready to perform the verification. All yeah. right, thank you, Agent Nedgemi. Oh, I gotta take this call. You're welcome. On to your next thank mission? You. Yes. <laughs> take care. See Bye, you. Agent Nedgemi. Hey, thank you, Agent Nedgemi. Hey, folks, our next part of this uh, Mission Impossible is to have Trent run the uh, Heartbeat. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. So now that we have conducted the software upgrade and we have heartbeat verification on our controller, first I want to walk you through a couple of heartbeat displays, heartbeat identifiers, before we perform the verification. First thing you'll notice is right on the probe display here. In the upper left hand corner you'll see channel 1 with a frowny face. This is the first glimpse you get at the new heartbeat software. And in, uh, in many screens, Heartbeat identifies uh, the life of your probe in a spectrum of smiley face, from a happy face to a frowny face. And obviously, as you can see, the probe we've selected for this demonstration is out of calibration. So Heartbeat is telling you right on the uh, front screen, right on the probe display here, that hey, your probe needs help, it needs maintenance, and it's possibly out of calibration, something's wrong with it. The next screen I wanted to show you if you toggle through your uh, probe displays back to the main menu, 
Right above the first probe here, you'll notice heartbeat diagnostics. And what this allows you to do is to dive into more specifics of the heartbeat capability. And you'll notice on this screen that heartbeat actually analyzes both the controller and the probe. And you can tell our liquid line controller here is in great condition with a smiley face. And as you previously saw, the uh, probe one here is in uh, poor condition. So you enter that, there you go. You see, again, with the probe we selected here, it is way out of calibration. It has essentially zero sensor health, as you can see on that bar. And this bar actually has a full spectrum uh, of, of the probe's life that it'll show you. So with a healthy probe, this bar will be totally full. So that was just a couple of instances of the display that Heartbeat gives you. And now let's perform a full-blown diagnostics. Just by going to the diagnostics screen, you can go down to system test. There it is, Heartbeat right there. Perform verification. And this happens in just an instant right there. It already says completed. And then it says press OK to store the results. And you'll see that this is the sixth verification we've performed. So this uh, controller keeps track of the verifications and the report times and dates of your heartbeat. The last thing you want to do is export it to an SD card, which uh, this controller has an XD SD card port and can be provided uh, with an SD card straight from Anderson Hauser. So you'll see it very quickly exports to an SD card and what is exported is similar to the heartbeat verification on the flow meters. This is a very clean, easy to, uh, easy to read, easy to distribute, and easy to track heartbeat verification form that you can share with your team and track in your asset management software. Hey folks, that wraps up our MI2 Mission Impossible 2 episode. I want to thank Nejmi, our analytical product manager, for joining us today from Anderson Mouser. Thank Trent Hildebrand for again participating in the uh, podcast. And our man behind the scenes here, our man behind the camera actually, uh, Kyle Boyce. And a special shout out to Megan Gelts, our marketing manager, who does a lot of stuff behind the scenes to uh, make the podcast possible. If you have interest in Heartbeat, reach out to these two controls. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Hope you enjoyed today's MIT.